How was the traffic? Was it really busy? Um, no, I um, came in the lowest, so it was grand. Okay, great, great. Well, look, obviously, Claire, very happy to have you here today. My name is Ashling. Um, I know this must be difficult for you, it can't be easy. I just want us basically to start a conversation, you know, so that we can really help and support you throughout your first pregnancy. That's what we're here for. You will be aware that we did receive a call from an anonymous person who is just a little bit concerned about the drinking that is going on during your pregnancy. How do you feel about this in general? To be honest, I was shocked. Okay. And furious. Okay. What did this person say about me? It's just that when we when we do receive one of these calls, you know, it's standard practice. We just have to follow it up. I just want to get really your, your basically your viewpoint on all of this, like your background. I just want to be able to help you and help your baby to have the healthiest pregnancy possible. Would you at all maybe be open to having a conversation with me today just surrounding your drinking habits and your drinking habits throughout your pregnancy, if that would be okay? Yeah, okay. Like, I'd only have one or two. I really have no idea why that person rang. Okay. Um, <laughs> and all of my friends have done that and never had any problem like this, so. So you don't currently believe that there is an issue with your drinking habits throughout your pregnancy? Now, obviously, some women stop drinking throughout pregnancy. Some might have a few drinks. How often a week would you have a drink that would contain alcohol? Maybe three times a week, but I'd only have one or two. Okay, and what kind of alcohol would this be? It depends, sometimes beer, sometimes wine. <laughs> Why are you asking me all of these questions? I realise all these questions sound really intrusive. They basically, we ask every single person that comes in gets the same standard list of questions. So you're telling me you would drink maybe up to six drinks a week? Is there any situation you might go a little bit over that? I mean, maybe if there's an occasion like a birthday or whatever, my partner and I or my friends, we might have more than that. We're just, we're just sociable. Yeah, okay. It's just, the way we live our lives. Okay, alcohol obviously is a big part of your social life and your social life with both your partner and your friends in and outside of the house. So can you just tell me a little bit more about your own thoughts, let's say, about alcohol and drinking throughout pregnancy? I don't really, I don't really think I need to change, Okay. to be honest. I mean, my friends drank during their pregnancies and <clears throat> their babies are fine mm -hmm. so and also I have read articles online and it says that drinking during pregnancy is fine as long as you don't overdo it okay so you're basically saying that your friends have obviously they've drank throughout their pregnancies and they haven't had any issues thankfully and you've also read articles online that are saying that you know having a few drinks throughout pregnancy is absolutely fine have you read any other articles that, you know, say anything to the contrary that say, no, actually, this might be harmful for you and or your baby? Well, like the midwife said, you're not supposed to drink during pregnancy, but it's hard to know who to believe because everybody else says it's fine. Obviously, you're getting very mixed messages about um, drinking throughout pregnancy from lots of different avenues. And look, this is actually very common. We do see this a lot and it makes things very confusing. It can add to a huge amount of confusion for someone in your situation. Would it help you at all if I gave you just a little bit of information, let's say a little bit of background on what it is we're talking about today? I guess so. So the latest evidence does suggest to us that no amount of alcohol is safe throughout pregnancy for you or your baby. You know, the baby cannot break alcohol in the down in the same way that an adult can, so their body processes it in a completely different way. 
It can lead to a whole range of problems such as low birth weight, miscarriage, premature birth, and even intellectual or physical disabilities. I know the midwife said all that, but I just find it hard to understand because none of my friends' babies have any of those problems. Okay. So your friends' babies haven't necessarily had any problems so far, but what we have seen is that sometimes these pro problems don't necessarily reflect until a later stage in life, so they could be perfectly okay. And then we, sometimes we see these issues arising later on in life or even when they're at school. It's just a lot of information to take in, you know. I appreciate this might take some time for you to absorb, you know, all the information that you're taking in. Um, what I might do is if I give you this leaflet, would it help? If you just look through this information yourself, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty beneficial. It's all listed out here. You can just have a look at it in your own time. Look, I really appreciate how open you've been to our conversation today and to all this new information that you've been getting. Based on what you've heard so far today, would you have any change maybe in your thinking towards drinking throughout your pregnancy? I'll, I'll think about it. Um, obviously, I want to protect my baby and give it the best start that I can. It's just a lot of information for me to take in right now to make a decision. I appreciate you need some time to take in all of this information. Would it be possible that we could maybe schedule a follow-up appointment between the two of us? Sure. We also have a drug and alcohol liaison midwifery service within this hospital. We find it extremely beneficial and look, with your permission, I would love to refer you to this service. Is this maybe a service that you would be interested in taking part in? Okay. Look, Claire, I do want to thank you for coming in today. I know how difficult this must have been for you. And thank you for being willing to discuss such a very sensitive topic. I look forward to seeing you at our next appointment.